What's up YouTube? DJ K coming to you with a quick little video. Nothing major in this video, just my advice to people, you know, when it comes to saving your content with the NPC Ren. Especially if you got a uh, the new MacBook Pro. You know, the new MacBook Pros have a, a solid state hard drive in it. You know, most solid state hard drives aren't going to be real big. Um, mine is 256 gigabyte flash drive. It's like real fast. It loads up super fast. I'm talking about lightning speed fast. It's like, you know, of course, flash drives are way faster than your standard hard drive. But what I I save my um that's running the OS for the for the NPC, but all my applications run on the um on the flash drive of course. But when I save my content, I have a Seagate uh three point what is it? Three terabyte Seagate hard drive, which is this hard drive right here. If you can see that. It's a USB 3.0 Seagate hard drive. I also got a um Western Digital uh, USB 2.0 and FireWire uh, 4 terabyte hard drive but this is a 3 terabyte hard drive right here I use this one on my for my MacBook the other other hard drive is for my iMac the uh, Western Digital but I can actually access my uh, my uh, Western Digital le uh, hard drive from this MacBook because I got it you know connected with that uh, where it's sharing, I can share the screen, or I can share the content that's on my iMac with this MacBook Pro. But I, I would recommend you just save everything that you have to an external hard drive if you can, just to just so you can have a lot of space and you don't you don't use your space up on your main hard drive. So I got pretty much all of my content now. Everything that you see me doing in this video, you can do it from the controller. I'm just not used to using the controller that well when it comes to saving but you can actually hit the save button and save button and you can actually browse the content if you want to you can actually scroll through it with the knob like I'm doing right now you can select whatever you need to select and load it up I can say let me say I'm gonna load up this uh what beat let me say I'm gonna load up uh, let me see I don't know which beat this is. Let's just load this one. But you can load it directly from the controller. You don't never have to really look at the screen. It's just that I'm not used to looking at. I don't know what beat this is. Let me see. Okay. And you can also open up. <coughs> The folder itself, and you can browse all the content inside each sequence. You can load up each sequence. So you see the sequences on your screen, or you can load up the sounds. Actually, when you scroll through with your the, the knob, hold on, hold on. I really didn't want it to do that, but it's on auto pre auto auto preview, and when you scroll in through it, it'll play each each thing that you you scroll through. I didn't want that to happen though, but yeah, it'll pl pretty much play everything. One thing the NPC ran needs to not do <laughs> is create an instance for each plugin. Like when you use a when I say instance, what it's doing is like uh you just say you use the 809 plugin on track one. For your drums, and let's say you go, you want to use the 809 on track three. It's going to keep on creating instances of that plugin, which means that it's making, it's copying the plugin over and over and over and over. And that's what it's doing. If you see on the side of my browser, you'll see it says uh, the 809 going from one through seven, you know, <laughs> and then on on uh, the noise is going from one through six. You should just be able to load that plugin up once, and then it just you can just keep using it. But for some reason, they got it set up where every time you use it, it creates an instance of that, pl that plugin, and it just basically, to me, takes up. Uh, I would say it may. I don't know for sure if it's actually hard on your your processor, or it, I believe it it will be hard on it if you keep on loading up the plugin and it's constantly uh, copying the plugin like it's a brand new plugin. You know, it's just constantly. You just need to use the same one. I don't know why they got it doing that, but they need to fix that shit like ASAP. 
to me. But it ain't a big deal. I mean, you still can work with it. Yeah, but my advice to y'all, just share, uh, save your content on the external hard drive. And I wouldn't hook the hard drive directly to the NPC. If you if you can, I will hook it up to the laptop. Because hooking it directly, let's say if I hook this USB 3.0 hard drive up to my NPC, then I'm only going to get 2.0 transfer rate, you know, as far as the speed. It's not going to be 3.0. Because this, this uh, hard drive is... USB 3.0, 2.0 uh, backwards compatible. It's compatible with both. So it'll run on 2.0 as a 2.0 hard drive. But if you got a 3.0 port on your computer, it'll run in 3.0, which will be faster. So I recommend hooking your, your uh, external hard drive directly to your laptop or PC or whatever you're using. That's about it in this video. I just wanted to show, tell y'all my advice on saving content. And of course, you got to go look for that hard drive. See, on mine, I got it's called the Free Agent Go Flex Drive. That's the drive right there. My book is my, uh, that's my Western Digital or my iMac. It's actually picking it up. It may not come up, though. I just selected it. I didn't even try to select it, but it's not coming up because I don't, I don't have it. Uh, I didn't go to my preferences on this computer to share the screen but if you want to do that if you want to actually it's coming up now I see it there now but if you got a MacBook let me close some of this stuff out here if you got a MacBook Pro or in in another iMac computer you can just see I got mine shared right here so I can hit that hit the shared and that's all my content from my iMac right there I can even share the screen too if I want to but it's connected or it's still connected right now it's got my Mac HD from the iMac, my 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 book, the Western Digital, and it has my uh, Pro Tools drive, which is my Lacy hard drive. I got like three hard drives, three external hard drives. This hard drive is almost full, but it's only it only has Pro Tools sessions on it, which I can't even load up on any of these computers because I Pro Tools don't even work on these new these new MacBooks. The one I got it on, it's Pro Tools Seven won't work. But this is my Pro Tools drive with all my other files. I got so many damn files, it's ridiculous. So many programs and drums and stuff. But anyway, that's what I'm saying on this video. I'm just jibbering on. It's long and boring. But anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Save your content to an external hard drive. Instead of saving it to the NPC documents. Because it's going to basically put that on your main drive when you're saving. So there goes my first speed I think I tried to make on here but I would I would uh, save my stuff on the external hard drive see I, I made a folder for it right here well I got DJK drum programs that's only one program so far but um, then I got uh, Akai NPC Renaissance Beats right here NPC 2000 Excel disc NPC RAM videos this native instruments let me get on this this right here is uh all of my complete ultimate plugins on here. I don't I don't say none on my hard drive no more basically because this stuff take up a lot of space. Save everything to external hard drive. That's how I do it. See you guys on the next video. DJK has bored the hell out of you for about I don't know how long but a long ass time. Catch y'all on the next one. I'm out.